What's up, everybody? We are back. We're on version 12.3.4. This is supervised full self-driving. Now, we're currently on the freeway. We do have a few destinations set in the navigation. Currently on the freeway, though, we're still on the version 11 stack. You can see here, it's showing our max speed offset currently, 15% max offset. Once we do exit the freeway, though, we, we jump onto the full V12 stack, city streets, and let's check out our trip today. Let's go ahead and edit the trip. So in the trip I have Chipotle, I have Little Caesars, Starbucks, and Home Depot. We're gonna do some routes here through the North Las Vegas area today. But first we're going to Chipotle to get a bowl because I am starving. We do have our highway exit ramp coming up in about a mile. Got some traffic. A lot of traffic here. It comes off fast off the freeway. Let's see how bad it does. Oh my goodness, that was a pretty hard break. As I was saying, you definitely want to be cautious in this lane coming up to that intersection. Now this car looks like they may want to get over, but they're just cruising. Here pretty shortly, we should get into the right lane. FSD is modulating the speed here. I think this BMW is kind of swerving a little bit and Beta definitely saw that. You can kind of see him squirreling all over the lane here. And as always, if I do any accelerator presses or intervene or lane changes at all, I'll let you know. Now we are merging over into the far lane, which I do see it being like a normal behavior currently on this build, even though we do want to be in this lane. We do have a truck on the side of the road. Let's see if we merge over to the left lane. It didn't merge over, but it did put a right signal. That was pretty strange. Now, just thinking back, actually, I have seen it choose the right fork instead of moving into the right lane. So I, it's kind of hit and miss on the behavior. Now, we do need to exit this lane or else we're going to head west. We do want to take the left lane to head east. Check the settings. I have an assertive minimal lane changes. Are we going to move over? All right, I'm going to go ahead and disengage there. Did not want to choose left fork to stay in route. All right, I tried to send it. I don't know, for some reason though, even the uh, part where it says, you know, did you have a problem, it didn't pull up. That is strange. Definitely safety critical disengagement. I feel like it's done it once there before as well. That's not the first disengagement I've had in that little intersection. Although in the past, it's also routed correctly. But as I was saying, I do have an assertive no, uh, minimal lane changes turned on. On autopilot, I have it on not automatic set speed offset for beta. Pretty hard braking. We should merge over this lane here shortly. I couldn't even speak. We do got this car coming up quick behind us. It looks like they're gonna close the gap. We're not gonna make it if they keep narrowing in. So Beta didn't change lanes and it just followed the lane out. I don't like that behavior. I like to be able to aggressively move in. It did drop the speed limit down to 55 even though we're in a 65 area. Kind of felt Beta slow down. I noticed that it changed the speed. You definitely have to be very cautious of that as well. Although in these new version 12s, it has done a lot to fix those issues. All right. Personally, I'd like to get over to the left lane here any time now. I wonder if it's because I have it on no minimal lane changes. It, it still needs to make lane changes, right? Let's see what happens. All right, merging over. A little late in my opinion. And I'm counting down the days to the Model 3 Ludacris. Wow, this is the, the most impatient I've ever been. It's, it's like every week I just got to let it go again. Just be like, all right, it's not coming. Just get it out of my mind. But hopefully on 420, we have the earnings call on 423. What are we going to see? Uh, everyone, all the YouTubers did those videos out there, and we still haven't seen one. Just little sneak peeks of uh, the event so far. All right, currently we're just cruising in traffic. I do like the behavior where it's not like trying to aggressively overtake them because I have the settings on uh, no minimal lane changes. Ideally, that's how I'd like it. We're 
going to need to merge over. We do have traffic ex uh, entering the freeway here. Oh, I just saw. Okay, let's see. Let's merge in here. All right, he's merging in. We're merging over. Good timing. Kind of too much braking there. Oh, yeah, but today I just saw Tesla on X uh, post about the new UI that's coming. And now you can go into full screen and still have some nav data over here, which was always my... I love the full screen, but I like to be able to see the map data at the same time. So I'm super, super stoked for that. All right, we're coming up on our first destination, Chipotle. Nice merge over. That new Stealth Gray Model Y looks great. By the way, they, they pulled all the discounts on the Model Y. Just a couple days ago, they reduced them from like $5,000 discounts down to about two. And now today, I checked and there's no inventory model wise with a discount. I don't know if they're just selling through them or they just cut the discount. But with that being said, that, that makes me super hopeful for the ludicrous Model 3 because I feel like they're trying to restructure their prices again so they're not like, the Model Y is not super discounted compared to everything else. So we will see. All right, we have a yield here. It is green protected, so we shouldn't stop at all. Completely clear to our left, is inching out slowly. Back on the throttle, good acceleration there. A little late to get on the acceleration there, though. I wonder if they've been tweaking that. Pulling back in to the shopping center. Oh, way too early there to break. Now, I am going to stop in here to grab a bowl. Okay, this car is uh, waiting for our turn. I'm going to give it a little bit of throttle just to push it through, through this intersection. And then I want to try an auto park. But I am going to stop here to eat real quick. And I have a feeling we're going to lose all our nav data, so I may have to put it back in. I wish there was a way to save uh, routes as well. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, disengage. Actually, I'd love to see if it pulls us right into the burrito lo loading zone. I don't think it will, though. Is it going to curve right? Actually, it looked like it, it may be pulling in. All right, I'm going to go ahead and disengage it. Almost pulled us right in. We'll try auto park here at the end of our route. Be right back. All right, we're back, everybody. I did have to load back in the destinations um, through the phone, through the location. But one thing cool is any, any routes you choose for that day, it'll stay in there. So all you got to do is just really add them in. I'll show you a screenshot of that. But we're going to be pulling out of the Chipotle and back on track. All right, FSD's on. Let's see if we can get us out of the parking lot. So, yep, on our route, we have Little Caesar, Starbucks, and Home Depot to pick up a Swiffer. So, let's see how she does been using uh, supervised full self-driving every day. Okay, we do have a car coming to our left. Quite a bit of traffic here in the shopping center, so we'll see how it does. Got another car coming, and we're braking again. Lost the gap. There is one coming to the right. Okay, we're clear on both sides. Very good. It is starting to warm up out there. I'm going to turn on the air conditioner just a little bit here. It looks like we're clear, although this traffic doesn't have a stop sign, so we have to yield to them. All right, we're yielding. Now we should go. As always, I'll let you know if I intervene with any accelerator presses or take over. All right, so we're kind of stuck here. We do need to get over here. Is FSD going to make the turn or not? We're definitely stuck on this lane now. I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. We definitely shouldn't be here wasting our time. We should just merge over like all the other normal traffic does. All right, now we're going. FSD sell that car. It's like, okay, that's how we do it. Now, can we get over into the lane? All right, here we go. As we all know, this isn't 100% polished. This is a work in progress. But I tell you what, the rate of acceleration is getting really good. So we will see how how frequent we get these updates. Got the green light, it is protected, both sides. People getting honked at, not us though. All right, good acceleration. 
Although I felt like it was being a little cautious with all this traffic going slow, which is good. I did have a question on the last video about the nag. Uh, someone's been having a lot of issues with the nag. I, I usually rest my hand on the wheel. You can't see it because it's on the left side here. But I'm always paying attention to the road and I'm always holding the wheel. So it does, I mean, not always holding the wheel, but the nag comes and goes. Not as frequent usually. I feel like they've dialed it back quite a bit. Now, if you look in the navigation data, this is 2023 nav data, but you see how it does that little left turn here? I feel like those little moves on the on the lane, they screw up the path planning. But I'll tell you what, wow, is it doing an amazing job at driving straight? So true, no ping-ponging, it, it is dialed in. So when we get to our first destination at Little Caesars, I'm gonna let it pull us into the parking lot and then we're gonna try to reroute it without disengaging if possible. <clears throat> Do have the uh, auto set speed currently off for beta. So I am in control. It is set at a 15% offset, but I can't control it up and down if you see that max speed going up and down. Beta will still control it within your uh, ceiling limit. Do have it on assertive. I'm gonna, since I didn't have it on minimal lane changes for the start of this drive, I'll leave that off. And then if I go into the autopilot settings, you can see that the automatic set speeds off currently, as well as minimal lane changes. I feel like on that first drive over to Chipotle, we had, was it one, that intervention on the freeway where it didn't change lanes, and then also entering the freeway around the spaghetti bowl, it is slow to change lanes. I'm sure they are working on it. <clears throat> All right, 0.2 of a mile, we got our entrance for the shopping center. We do have a sign that shows flagger here. It does show a little bit of visualization on the uh, map, but it's not like before. Before it used to show trash cans and everything like that. I feel like they dialed it back. But with that being said, it's much more snappier now, the navigation, so maybe it had to do with that. All right, we're slowing down. We're not gonna turn into this entrance, but the next one. Kind of slow to creep back up to speed. Turning in super slow. So the Little Caesars is over on the left side, and we are just doing about 12 miles an hour through this parking lot. I like this speed. We do have the 15 mile an hour max, currently set at 17. All right. It says autopilot navigation come complete. Press the accelerator. Okay, I'm pressing it. As soon as I pressed it, we did speed up a little bit, but it doesn't keep going on the route. That's for sure. Let me just double check, make sure. Okay, we're definitely stopping here. So I think this is the end of the road for us here. Let's go ahead and re-navigate. Let me give it a little accelerator press. Got a pedestrian crossing. It's doing good just inching up right behind her. So again, just cruising through the parking lot. I'm gonna give it a little accelerator press, see if it speeds up. All right, there we go. Now we can't see to the left yet. We may have to creep. Got a large sign right here. Um, I still can't see. Are we gonna creep? Okay, we're creeping slow. We're completely clear on my left and we're going. We're kind of in the bike lane as we pull out. Not too bad of a behavior there. We are merging over. Good acceleration. Super comfy. If you can see, this is the acceleration meter right here. It does a great job of staying right in the center there, and that keeps the balance, so it almost feels like you're just coasting sometimes. 
kind of pulling close to the inside lane here for the stoplight. And we're green. Looks like we have our next left turn in about 0.4 of a mile. I was just about to say, it's kind of going a little slower than normal, but then as soon as I said that, it did speed up and it's getting towards the max. Little hesitations there with those pedestrians on the side. All right, perfect entrance to the middle turning lane. We got an unprotected green light. Let's see how she does. Pulling in for the inside lane. I like it. Now we're going to want to get over to the right. And again, I'm going to let it pull us into the Starbucks Plaza here and then see if it can reroute us out. And then we'll be heading to Home Depot where I got to pick up that Swiffer. It is a nice clear day today. All right, we should merge in over. Looks like we're going into the third lane. Little hesitation getting into the lane to the point where this car kind of wonders what's going on because I'm a little far out on the side there. Almost like she wanted to shake her head at me. All right, so we're going to take a left in here. It would be so cool if it just parked you at your destination. Like it just says, would you like to park here? And you hit yes, and then it'll auto park and auto find us park. Okay, we do have people coming out. I can barely talk while I'm driving through here. All right, it looks like, is it gonna keep going straight? I'm gonna give it that accelerator press it keeps asking for to re keep resuming. Accelerator press to resume. Wow, it kind of took off there. Let's see it, I don't, okay, so I thought for a second it was gonna get us back onto our route by doing that accelerator press, but it looks like it's rerouting us again back to the destination. So let's go ahead and edit the trip. We wanna go around this concrete here. Close that up, and we're gonna cancel Starbucks. Kind of hesitant pulling out. We got a lot of action. Those car coming, pedestrian, and okay. Let's see what she does now. Are we gonna reroute? Okay, we do have the right turn. So it looks like we are rerouting. I'm not sure if this was our original route or not. Yeah, I think it was. Okay, we're back on track. So it does show us another route here if we wanted to go straight and then hop on, but we're gonna take this route. Oh, we have the red light, no traffic to the left. Okay, now we got tons of traffic. As soon as I said that, as we were creeping up, ah, let me get that over there. I do like having the blinker on here, so unfortunately, I know on some people's videos they turn it off, but I still like to see it for when I'm making a lane change. All right, we are clear. They got the red light and we're going. Very assertive. It couldn't have turned right any point between that point and when we did, that's for sure. Great acceleration. We're taking a right here in point one of a mile. That Dutch Bros is looking pretty good. What do you like, Dutch Bros or Starbucks? I'm just curious, or do you even drink coffee at all? I didn't start drinking coffee until I was about 33. I remember that. Now I love coffee, two or three cups in the morning. All right, we're inching up. It looks like this car is gonna try to pull out the right on red. And he's going for it, very good. That girl doesn't look too happy, Beta. We gotta get going before we got some uh, pedestrian road rage going on. You never know. All right, we are clear to the left, and Beta's just sitting here. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little a goose on the throttle, see if we can pull up, and I'm gonna goose it again, because we have we are clear. I'm gonna hold on the throttle, camp off the throttle. We definitely wanted to make that right on red there, which was totally legal, but FSD for some reason was very hesitant. All right, back on track. 
Now, it looks like we're going to be staying on the feeder road, not getting on the freeway, crossing over the freeway, and then through the Centennial Center S-turns. Kind of slowing down. What are we slowing down for? Okay, it, it dropped us into a 25 for some reason back there. This is definitely not a 25. I want to say it's a 45, but I'm going to speed it up, give it a little goose to get going. I'm pretty sure there's no 25 mile an hour signs anywhere on this road. All right, we are moving over. It looks like trying to be aggressive there. We do Again, we're on assertive no minimal lane changes, so I do see this type of behavior when we are on a, a no minimal. It is moving back over to stay on track. Multiple routes coming up here as well. So it looks like one you can go around. Wow, there's like three different routes. I kind of like that. But we're going to stick with this one. I think this is the fastest route for sure. All right, we got the green light. Yeah, so I was super surprised about all the Model Y inventory losing all the discounts that we've been seeing for months and months now. And it's so funny because some of the other YouTubers are like, hold out for the end of the month, the best discounts. And now they just removed like three or $4,000 worth of discounts. It's so funny. You know, the best time to buy is when you need a car and you want to buy. Don't try to time the market, that's for sure. All right, we're back on it, got the green light. What are we at? About 1.4 miles to Home Depot. So we are gonna be going up here. I'm curious to see how uh, FSD does, but we do have a freeway merge to the left and then we got the exit ramp to the right. Now we got our blinker on, exiting. Nice smooth exit, perfect timing. That's been another one of my complaints is that it kind of dives into the exit just a half a second or about a second late. And it just looks weird, feels weird. All right, doing a good job. Now, ideally, I think we would want to be in the middle lane, not the furthest left lane, because we will have to take that right. And it's a very short distance as soon as you come around that intersection. All right, we're merging over. Oh, again, hesitant. It dove in and then corrected out. I really hope on the next update that we get rid of that. That would be so great. All right, now we are in the, the perfect lane for our turn. Looks like, no, we don't. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, disengage there. Let's go ahead and put it on minimal lane changes go back on it was trying to route us into the right turning lane so again navigation fail there is a route that takes us that way but we're not on it all right we got the green protected left and we are going apply slight turning force to the wheel Nice and smooth, stayed in the perfect lane. Now we're merging over to the right, I like it. I like when we're taking a turn that we stay in the same lane we entered in, that's for sure. Do kind of have this turn here, which is the yield as well. It says right lane must turn right. I don't even know if there's a yield really. I mean, it is its own lane, so it really doesn't need the yield, but I still do. Very good. Here's our famous In-N-Out Burger. Doing a great job navigating through here safely. Speed limit is 30, we have it at 34 and it's doing 32. It's cruising, getting close to our destination. So we, we are gonna wanna move over into the left lane here shortly to turn the shopping center. I can remember when we were on V11, even before V11 hit, taking these turns, it was so wild. I was just like, can we even stay in the lane? So much improvement since then. I mean, this V12 stack is where it's at. I definitely feel confident this is going 
into the future. I mean, it'll probably be a, they'll probably call it V13 down the road. Uh, we are at the max speed limit. Love this BJ's brew house as well. All right, we're pulling in to the shopping center from the side. Got quite a bit of traffic oncoming. All right, we are 100% clear. Perfect timing for FSD. Made it easy. Now we're gonna wanna take a right. So quite a few shops in this shopping center. We'll have to navigate a little bit through a couple speed bumps to get to the Home Depot. And then we're gonna try the infamous auto park. I think I've only got it to pull into a, our parking spot twice out of maybe 10 times on one go. Okay, we're slowing down. It saw this white Hyundai. He put on his blinker. I went ahead and waved him on. But he, the Hyundai kind of hesitated and FSD picked it up, let him in. Great. Got some pedestrians, another Toyota coming up. Okay, it's getting a little hesitant here. It looks like I didn't even see this lady crossing before Beta did. I was kind of looking over in this direction. And it, another lady's coming, and Beta's going to wait for her too, and she waved at me. So just like any time Beta does, or FSD starts to slow down, I would get cautious. Okay, I'm not going to press anything yet, but we want to go because we have another pedestrian coming. Okay. We can't let everybody go. All right, doing really good navigating around her. Just creeping through the parking lot after those pedestrians. But yeah, what was I saying? Auto park. I think two out of 10 times I've got to pull in one time. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and disengage and we're gonna try out some auto park. We're gonna end the trip. And let's try it like this. Let's go around this corner. We'll park right there on the wall. So as I slow down, you should start to see the lane lines. Oh, this car is going. I'm not the only crazy one. Someone else is driving through the whole parking lot. All right, so let's see. We're pretty centered. I mean, it doesn't get much more centered than that, but let's try this far one. Let's go. See if we can get us in there in one shot. I feel like the far one had the best opportunity to pull in with one straight shot. But what I've been noticing here is it overcorrects or undercorrects. So this is definitely going to be a three-point turn. It can do better than that, that's for sure. We're getting pretty close to that car, by the way. Too close for my comfort. We're inching up. This is probably one of the worst auto parks I've seen. I've never seen it get that close to the car. All right. Got us in there straight. A lot of spinning that steering wheel. Well, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Leave your comments below. Hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.